How did you sleep last night? If you're like most of us, you're probably still tired. The reason might be one of these little things. I'm going to explain why and how you could get a better night's sleep tonight. We're currently in the midst of a major epidemic of sleeplessness. To understand why, we need to talk about your circadian rhythm. It's like a tiny clock that keeps your sleep cycle in check. But like many clocks, it drifts over time. And this is especially the case if you're flying a lot and crossing time zones. Your exposure to sunlight provides a small reset every day. The mechanism is relatively simple. Light enters your eye and initiates a chemical reaction. That reaction suppresses the creation of a sleep hormone called melatonin. It's sometimes called the Dracula hormone because it only comes out after dark. But what you might not know is that the brightness of a table lamp is enough to lower your melatonin levels and make it hard to sleep. Of course, this is a relatively new problem. Until recently, the sun was the only major source of light on Earth, and so people's circadian rhythms were always in step with night and day. It's not just artificial lighting that broke the cycle. Something new and very particular has made it a lot worse. Some computer screens, tablets, smartphones, flat screen TVs and LED lights emit a large amount of blue light. Blue light is the type of light that most disrupts melatonin production and in turn sleep. However, the good news is the problem is surprisingly easy to fix. Avoid using your smartphone or tablet during the latter part of the evening. Alternatively, turn down the screen brightness or there are apps that can dim and recolor the screen. And avoid the temptation to check your email or social media during the night. And if you have to work late at night, you could even consider wearing a pair of amber-tinted glasses that block that evil blue light.